you ever get one of those days where you just want to pack everything up and go home and just forget the day ever existed? Well, this was sort of my day. But thankfully I persevered and sort of resolved the problem through the day and at the end of it managed to bag a few birds for my efforts. I initially intended to add this footage to a second day that went much better, much like I did with the last wood pigeon decoy and video I did. But that second day ended up to be good enough that it didn't need the extra footage. So I then decided just to edit this into a short film so that you would get an idea what happens when the day just didn't go as you planned. But anyway, as you can see for the last minute or so, I've been setting my decoys out, which are a full bodied, fully flocked pigeon decoy that I have touched up with a little bit of paint myself, in a small L shaped paddock that uh, had been cut about a week or so beforehand. Now, this was a wee while ago, of course, because all this is all ploughed back in and re sown for uh, next year's crop with winter barley. But thankfully I did manage to get a couple of days on it before that happened. Now instead of building a traditional hide with hide poles and camouflage netting like I usually do, I decided to use the two man pop up hide from Bushware. It's a bit roomier than the one man hide and gives you a larger arc of fire left to right. And to help things I've set the hide up in the corner of the field so the area the birds can land is much narrower too. But it's not too long in the morning before I get my first opportunity. And totally miss. A bit annoying, yes, but it's not the first pigeon I've missed, and it certainly won't be the last. Then I got another opportunity, to my right, about a 15 to 20 yard shot. And missed again. Oh, for goodness sake, there's something not right with this gun. Now, as you can imagine, I was getting somewhat peeved off at the minute. I was about ready to throw the toys out of the pram, we would say. Now, I had zeroed the rifle the night before, and even taken a few test shots on a stick pushed into the ground first thing this morning. But somewhere along the line, the gun had got knocked off zero, and now was shooting, I think it was a little to the right and a little low. So I made a bit of an impromptu zero session in the field, using a stick for a target, and got things back on zero again, and had another go. Now, at this point with all the misses, I had lost total confidence in trying to take head and neck shots, so when this bird offered me a nice shot at his chest, I decided to take it. And the relief I felt after seeing that bird go down so cleanly, after so many misses that morning, definitely made the effort of staying on and persevering well worth it. Now the next bird that pitched in sort of landed in a place I really wasn't expecting it to. Yep, on a fence post. 
but it made a lovely target. And the last bird of the day, once it decided where to land, pitched into the small tree just behind the post. Unfortunately, this is where the scope cam decided to run out of battery. But thankfully, I did capture it on my other camera. Then I had another feathered visitor arrive, but it wasn't a wood pigeon this time, it was a bird of prey, a common buzzard, which, as the name suggests, are quite common now in Northern Ireland, and they are fully protected under UK law, so you can't shoot them, got that? He wasn't doing me any harm, and I wasn't doing him any harm, so I just sat and watched him. But anyway, the morning had been and gone, the birds had dried up, and the camera batteries were about to die, so I had had enough for the day. I was that scunnered, I didn't even take any footage of what I'd got at the end of the day, not that three birds was much to brag about. So I added this wee bit of footage, which was from the day after this, and you can see it went a wee bit better, so keep an eye out for that video hey.